Hi guys, my name is Chris Beecher, your favorite financial advisor, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Money Talk Show. Now today, I'm going to be talking about one of um, the financial world's cigarettes. And cigarette because it's very addictive. And as a matter of fact, in our Jamaican landscape, uh, whenever promotions are being put on for World Cup or for special events, they encourage the use of, you got it, a credit card. So whether you have a standard credit card, a business credit card, or you have a gold credit card, a platinum credit card, or a black card in this case, what are the pros and the cons for you? All right? So I don't want to impose my own views, particularly of credit cards, on you, but um, I want to be very objective about this. I remember I was about 22 years old when I got my first credit card, right? And I actually went into the bank to actually um, get a printout of my statements and actually get some information for my first job and the customer service rep who was dealing with me he looked at me and said Mr. Beecher do you have a credit card and I said no he said what no man we need to fix that we need to fix that and so he quickly pulled out a brochure showing me the different types of cards and he said this one would be great for your first credit card he looked at my pay slips saw that I was gainfully employed and um, my probationary period had passed I, I was employed for six months now and the gentleman proceeded to have me fill out um, some documents for a credit card now I didn't know anything about credit cards at the time I was absolutely clueless and so I always heard about credit cards and I saw many ads on TV a discovery card MasterCard Visa card never go anywhere without it um, that sort of thing and especially back in the day um, the the MasterCard ads were very dominant you know um, you know going on a trip with your kids to watch them play soccer priceless I don't know if you remember those ads but anyways, I signed up for the card. So here it is, I am a 22 year old, have a credit card, I looked into the statement, saw where it had uh, $300,000 um, you know, limit on it. I didn't really understand what this meant, but uh, looking at it, I knew my salary around the time was maybe about eighty to 100,000 a month, so it was three times more than my salary. And so, I, you know, signed the back of the card, I called to have it activated, not knowing what on earth I was getting myself into, but guess what? Um, I went out and I needed to, you know, pay for something, so I said, let me try it. First, I bought some food, I was in the Burger King, I swiped the card and I was like, wow. They're like, sign the receipt, I signed the receipt, I gave it over to them, it was maybe $600, easy. Yeah, you know, I didn't have to think about it. Then, you know what? Uh, as a young 22 year old, I said, Guess what? Um, I'm just starting to work and I was feeling myself a little bit. And I went to the clothing store and I said, Hey, Friday is coming. I need some fresh gear. Going to the club, need to impress the girls. Went in, bought some clothes back then. And this is way back in 2011, thereabouts. And I bought about fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars worth of dress shirts and uh, pants. So I'm excited now because that was so easy. I swiped the card. I didn't feel anything at all. I bought the clothes. I got all the clothes I wanted. And usually, if I was to dip into my pocket at the time and pay over fork over that eighteen grand, I would have kind of been a little bit skeptical. Maybe I would have purchased one shirt instead of five shirts. Maybe I would have purchased. One pants, I said to myself, but wait, I can match this shirt with a pants that I have at home, that sort of a thing. So I would have spent way less had I actually went into my pocket and spent the cash. So anyways, um, it was around the time of my bridging birthday as well. And I said, well, you know, say my bridging been a tell me, say him love cologne and all of these things. And we're going to go to the club and we're going to be really fly. So I went in there and at the time he was a big fan of uh, Kenneth Cole and that sort of a thing. He might have Kenneth Cole shoes, he might have Kenneth Cole watch, he might have um, Kenneth Cole belt. So G's and P's, Kenneth Cole perfume. Had to get my bridge in that. <laughs> Swipe 
for another 14,000. Wow. Guys, it was so easy. I didn't even realize I reached up to $32,000 already. Had I had $32,000 in my pocket, I would have never go buy up a bag of clothes and I never take my hard $32,000 in cash and say, me I go buy a cologne for my bridging, but we just a swipe and put everything on my card. Anyways, reach now. This is pretty cool. I went downstairs to a jewelry store, saw a new phone. I said, boy, a long time, we need a new phone, you know, so, um, you know, Indian store, them have a few cool cell phones down there. And at the time, then they have tablet with, you know, just that take SIM card and WhatsApp was just really touching in and all of that thing. So I got a tablet. I bought a tablet for 40 grand, right? So guys, I'm up to about $72,000 in one day. In one hour. In one hour, I spent $72,000 because I had a credit card. I was young. I wanted to be hip, I wanted to be trendy, and I just never thought about it. And so guys, what I really want to point out to you are the dangers of credit cards. There are advantages, yes, but let's talk about the dangers because 90% of the people, especially young people who are taking on a credit card are not financially literate. 60% um, of middle-aged people who have a credit card are still not financially literate but they use the credit card as a lifeline because they're not good at budgeting and so the statistics show that um, whenever we spend using a credit card versus cash we tend to spend 67 percent more with a credit card with a piece of plastic because there's no pain in just swiping everywhere you go swipe and these days you don't even have to swipe you Ping tap, ping tap, so easy. And so guys, what I really want to say is that uh, credit card, it does have its benefits, right? Uh, but my personal preference is to use a debit card, a Visa debit card, because it can do the same exact thing as a credit card, even for traveling, even for booking a hotel, even for purchasing stuff online. Yes, a Visa debit card can do the exact same thing. And I know there are some persons out there who will say that it cannot. But I want to let you guys know that uh, a Visa debit card comes from Visa, right? And if you ever read, right, the, 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 the booklet when you get a Visa debit card, because all of them come with a little booklet, you're under the same protection you're under the same guidelines as the Visa credit card, right? It's just that a lot of people don't know this. You can run your Visa debit card as a credit card, but you can also run it as a debit card. It depends on the transaction, but you need to know the difference. So back to the issue at hand. So in less than one hour, I've racked up a bill of $70,000. Needless to say, you know how this story ends. Um, I exceeded my limit and because my salary was eighty to a hundred thousand dollars a month at that time I found myself in a bind and I did not know how I was ever gonna pay that credit card and the credit card went bad creditors called me and eventually I was able to pay off that credit card on an amnesty so guys be aware of that you can run yourself into bad credit if you don't know how to use a credit card properly because it's so easy something that you should actually um, think about right so fast forward what are the benefits of a credit card really uh, some people say well boy one of the best ways to accrue money is using other people's money well guys I want to tell you yes that is true a credit card is simply a loan and usually they work off pay cycles. Some of them have a 28 day pay cycle, so it depends on when in the month you actually use the card uh, before the 28 day pay cycle starts to generate when your bill is due. Now here's the catch. If you pay off your credit card bill in full when you get the statement, there is zero interest. But mark you, there's an annual fee depending on the type of credit card that you have. So once a year, you might see a charge of 10 grand or 7 grand or something. But you say, well, well, I never, 
yeah it's a annual user fee it's like a membership fee right for have the card you have to pay that and some um, credit card companies they charge insurance so you might see that fee come up as well uh, on your credit card statement but guys if you pay off your credit card in full at the end of the month you pay zero interest so if I had spent that 70 grand right and from that 70 grand the first time I saw it, my 28 day cycle started right if by the time the man them generate the statement and send it to me uh, via electronic means or physically and I look on it and I say that my, my due date is X if I paid off that 70 grand market if I didn't accrue any other charges on the card up to that point but if I did it would be the 70 grand plus those other charges if I paid off that in full by the first due date when when the card cycle generated and they generated the statement I would have paid zero interest but just pay back the people their money so guys a credit card is simply a loan all right it's not a tool it is a loan you have to pay it back guys no one of the things that i want to point out to you is that it's a very high interest loan which is why i generally don't recommend it unless you have the money to pay it back in full and here's the thing we talk about one of the ways and um you know the principals talk about one of the ways to make money is using other people's money by taking out a loan but the thing is the statistics show that 60 percent of people carry a credit card balance that's right guys it means that I said that if you pay off everything that you owe by the time you, your due date is ready, you don't pay no interest. But the statistics show that 60% of people don't do that. So you are generating interest on a daily basis. Now, I want you to think about loans. Unsecured loan at the bank is maybe generally 13 to 15%. Uh, car loan is generally 7 to 10 percent depending on what kind of promotion them have a mortgage is, is an even lower loan maybe five to six percent depending on where you getting that loan from guys do you want to know the annual rate of interest on a credit card depending on the type of card you have it could be between 21 to 45 percent interest right so they call that your APR your annual um payment rates right so how that is actually calculated it's actually calculated on a daily and you can try this exercise for yourself so depending on the kind of car that you have if it says that it has an interest rate of 20 percent they charge it on an annual basis but daily so what you'd have to do you'd actually um divide your 365 into your interest rate right which would have be let's say interest rate is 25 percent and when you get that number you multiply it by your outstanding balance now guys albert einstein says compound interest is the seventh wonder of the world no the eighth wonder of the world sorry no that interest rate that i told you it compounds daily on the balance you owe so if you don't make a payment on time or if you don't pay the amount you owe in full it keeps rolling over and it keeps compounding guys in other words, <laughs> in other words if it is that you spend too much money and you can't pay um your due amount i'm not talking about the minimum balance the minimum balance is a is a ratio that they calculate to say that all right you can pay this and it's not that you won't get charged other interest you're going to get charged interest based on the apr calculations but this is the minimum requirement that the company will take from you if you can't pay off the balance in full because members alone but members said this interest rate is compounding guys for you who have big credit card limits over million dollars five million dollars six million dollars if you're not very careful like a lot of athletes who have them black card and they buy brand new um, Cuban link diamond drip. They buy cars on the credit card. They buy extravagant gifts for persons on the credit card. Guys, the statistics show that 69% of persons, we don't really file for bankruptcy in Jamaica, but 69% of persons in America who file for bankruptcy, the number one reason for them filing for bankruptcy in America, 
this is regular day-to-day -day people is because of credit card debt guys it's very very serious so i want you to consider these things as you know you use a credit card right no a lot of people say that oh i love to use my credit card because i can rack up the miles and i can use the miles towards um purchasing plane tickets or i can use the the points towards um paying for stuff or i get cash back i get cash back guys I did the maths one time, you know. Uh, there's a particular bank that I have a credit card for, right? And I went on their website to redeem the points. And I saw a particular uh, weekend, a three-day weekend at a particular hotel. And when I did the maths on how the points are calculated, because usually they tell you that um, X amount of dollars equal X amount of points. To get that three-day weekend at a local hotel out here, it would have meant that I would have had to spend in excess of $12 million in one calendar year to get enough points to qualify for that hotel weekend. What am I saying? Guys, I've never seen a millionaire get rich by getting cash back on the credit card or using a loan. I've never seen a millionaire book a plane ticket using points they just buy a plane ticket because they have money they don't use a loan to buy a plane ticket i've never seen a millionaire worry about buying a gift or wanting to go on a weekend by adding up points if you were to really look at how much points you would need to redeem some of these rewards with some of these companies right you realize that you will never be able to spend as a regular person unless you're a business person and you're making a payment of over a million dollars a month like you're paying for a business. Your points will never amass to anything really significant. The most you can do is probably get a slice of cake or get a, a manicure or a pedicure. So guys, I would advise you to stop wasting your time. For say, oh, you're trying to build up points for redeem rewards. And the cash back, when you look at it, you go spend. This is hypothetical, but I've actually proved it. I've spent $800,000 on a credit card before. You know what my cash back was? fifteen thousand dollars <laughs> guys better you save your money now that eight hundred thousand dollars that i spent you know mark you all of that was paid back because it was paid on time because it was used as a tool to buy a particular piece of equipment but what i'm saying is that if you are going to try and make every purchase with your credit card every purchase because you're trying to get the cash back you might run yourself in a rut because remember, 60% of people carry a balance on them credit card. And remember that that interest compounds. Eat one of the world. Albert Einstein says so. So guys, I want you to be very careful. Because if you can't pay off your credit card in full every month. If you find that you are paying a minimum balance for more than 6 months at a time. You cannot manage that credit card. If you're paying a minimum balance on your credit card and not paying it off in full for more than six months, that credit card is out of control. It's out of your reach. The card owns you. And so I know everybody likes stuff and a lot of people put out ads like, oh, um, support your favorite restaurant this week. Use your credit card. Why well, you can't just use cash and support your favorite restaurant? Um, what do you call it? Fashion night out. Use your credit card and earn twice the points. Guys, the only person who really wins is a game, you know. You know, when you, when you watch Casino Royale, them say the house always win. Guys, the bank always win. If you're going fashion night out, save up your money and use cash. If you're going to your favorite restaurant, use your debit card or put together, everybody put together and then they spend cash. At the end of the day, it's so easy to get out of control with a credit card and those who know know so take this little bit of financial advice from your favorite financial advisor from the money talk show that you need to be very careful when it comes on to using a credit card are credit cards bad no but i don't recommend them unless you have mastered budgeting unless you have mastered managing your own money and unless you have mastered yourself 
emotionally when it comes on to spending I would rather for you if you love to shop so much to go on a site like Amazon and add things into your into your cart but don't press buy you know not unless you're using a Visa debit card go on Amazon add things to your cart and say wow it will give you the endorphins that it feel like filling up your trolley and buying stuff because half of the time we really buy stuff that we don't need so this is the first take on credit cards and i'll have a follow-up part two if you guys have any questions you can drop it in the comment uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the money talks show and peace out from your favorite financial advisor christopher beecher have a great day